All right, hi everybody. Uh, back again. We're over in the glass shop, glass tooling shop. Obviously, uh, we did the last video during lunch, uh, but we weren't able to get over here before lunch was over. So I'm having to talk loud because we've got people working in the background. Uh, but this is the deck plug, which will basically be a very identical part to the actual deck itself. So we've added a starboard side door, so if you're docking the starboard, you've got a nice way to get in and out. If you're docking the port, you can go out the normal transfer door, step on the swing step, and go off the port. So we believe we've solved the, the previous issue the boat had when you docked the starboard by adding this starboard cockpit door. As we mentioned, the cockpit was large uh, when Bob built the last boat. We got some, we designed some nice floating steps right here. I've actually only have one installed right now uh, because we're doing final work on the on the deck plus here to get it finished. There will be another step below this, and of course our little blue lights will be underneath the steps as well. We're gonna have our primary winches that I spoke about mounted right here. Uh, if you do the reacher sail, and we'll have a, obviously a button right here or in and out, uh, or one and two speeds, as well as button for in and out. Uh, we've, we've changed the back of it here to make it much more uh, newer and contemporary looking. The old SK Cruiser with all of it stuff we felt like was kind of antiquated and old stylish. So, well, we wanted to create an indoor outdoor experience. Yeah. Uh, we've actually taken the cabin top and we've made it more uh, vertical before it actually had much more of a slope in and we were able to actually add about six inches to the interior volume of the boat by doing that. So we've, we've literally almost changed 100% of this deck from the boat before. Uh, you've got a decent walk through here. We obviously, if we go forward, our helm door is going to be right here. So basically this is kind of where the helm door is going to be. The, the, the lower door will fold out uh, and there will be this portion right here. And then above that will be all glass as well as above this will be glass for the window in the back. We do have up-to-date photos of the interior layout or line drawings of the interior layout as well as the exterior profile on the boat on our website currently. We obviously eliminated the Ford cockpit uh, and extended the cabin house by about four feet. So literally the cabin house is extended as large as it can possibly be. And that's what allowed us to do all the up changes to the boat in the salon by bringing the galley up, giving you a much larger settee and much more storage area than the old boat had. So we added the self-packing system back onto the deck, uh, very similar to what we do on the 349 and the 439. So standard, the boat comes with a main and a jib, and then the reacher will be optional. Uh, four power connectors on the bow in the stern boat. So as we're in the past, they were only in the stern. So we have the ability to plug in either way, which is a really nice feature. Uh, as we mentioned before, the bow split is going to be 17 and a half inches shorter, so it won't have the, the Pinocchio nose that the older SP Cruiser did. Now I'm not, please don't take this wrong, I'm not discouraging the SP Cruiser. I'm, we're just trying to make the best boat we can and fix the things that honestly people have asked us to take care of. That's based on input from our owners. Well, we're very close to finishing up the deck plug. Once we do that, we will build the mold, and then from the mold, we'll build the part. Uh, we hope to have, we don't hope, but we plan on having our first boat launched sometime between January and March of next year. We are taking orders. We have sold the first boat, and we are willing to uh, work with people on the first few boats uh, and provide a, a discount that we will not, uh, you know, after we get orders on the first either three to five boats. Okay, so if you'd like to receive a discount, give me a call and let's get, you know, started talking about what this can look like to you guys and whether it makes sense. So, as always, we wish everybody the best. Uh, God bless. Please reach out to us if we can ever help you. Um, obviously, we're, we're, we try to support our current owners uh, and obviously the first-generation boats and obviously the second-generation boats as well. 
We have uh, now started up a resale and refit division of Island Packet. So if you're interested in selling your Island Packet and or having a refit, please let us know. We're not trying to be in competition with anybody. We just want to give people a choice that if they want to honor the Island Packet factory and continue to do business with us, they have that solution to do Okay? So God bless everybody. Take Thanks, care. Thanks, everybody. And we'll see you on the next video, which is 439.17. We'll be launching in a couple of weeks. Yay! Take care, oh, guys. Wait, we haven't... Oh, oh, yeah. No, 17. Okay. 17 already launched. <laughs> trying to keep up with them. So we'll do the video on it once we finish it. It's in the water. And then we have 439.18 sitting out here in the loading bay right now, which will be the next boat to launch in a couple of weeks. Okay. Awesome. So thank Thanks, you guys. guys. Bye-bye.